Ultra Kill is a game where you can experience drug abuse without actually needing to take those drugs. You actually have to go out of your way to become bored in this game, which is a really challenging thing to do. This can be experienced by moving at 200 km per hour, it's really fitting retro style graphics, a shit ton of blood and a shit ton of fun. So all I can say is I recommend this game. Oh god, they made Lana Rhodes an enemy. The game story is simple, you're V1. Who has to kill hell for blood? Your main adversary is going to be Gabriel, that is a special fucking boy, an archangel from heaven. We also get to know him as God's Will, which is really going to be fitting when we fucking bash his skull. But before we do that, then we have to face one more boss that stands in our way. The boss is King minus his corpse. Also there's a dating sim in this game. <laughs> Now we have to fight King Minus's hand. The fight itself really isn't that difficult, and the only thing you really have to look out for is dodging the peace streams he releases with every clap. After we punched him in the cock, the real fight can begin. We go face to face with King Minus's corpse in a very epic two minute battle. Well, shit. Don't come to my house or else I'll suck your dick. Uh oh, stinky poop, <laughs> poopies, buddy poopies. We jump down into King Minus. After that, we get a perfectly nice level design that really reminds us of Detroit. Welcome to the uterus of King Minus, where you get to meet your favorite enemies from around two minutes ago. While I don't like the level design to say the least, what I also didn't like was the fact that I got 30 FPS for most of the fucking map somehow. Wanna see a magic trick? Good. Game difficulty really ramps up on this level, and while I don't say you will have to use most of your homo sapien brain, but I am saying that if you are not using correct movements and weapons, you will be fucked harder than Obama did those Afghani hospital workers. So if you don't want to end up dead and stuck on this level for around 30 minutes, like I did of course, then you will have to use some style, and as John F. Kennedy said, with great style comes great trip. As we cross to the next level, we find out somebody has been waiting for us. Machine, turn back now. The layers of this palace are not for your kind. Turn back 
or you will cross the will of God. The fuck is this guy's problem? Your choice is made. As the righteous hand of the Father, I shall rend you apart, and you will become inanimate once more. I'm sure this won't have any negative consequences. Welcome to peripheral vision boxing because this is what the boss feels like all the fucking time it's on well rather not on screen so get ready to open your third eye you are less than nothing. this boss fight really feels like a turn-based strategy game where it's only his turn and you are just sitting there like a fucking AI But in the end, if you defeated Gabriel, that's all I can say is that good fucking job. Grab a beer, a cigarette, and turn on your favorite movie because you just beaten Gabriel. What? How can this be? Best by this... this... thing? You insignificant fuck! This is not over! May your woes be many and your days few.